everybody welcome back to my channel slash vlogging channel and today we're going to be doing a lazy hack video and instead of having to go out and buy a chocolate bowl if you just want a little chocolate bowl full of candy gumball or whatever you want you can even fill it with some kind of ice cream which we're going to be filling with ice cream today uh, i had um had an unexpected call which made me pause my video so I had already melted the chocolate, so I'm gonna go get it out of the microwave. Nice and tasty. I only used half of my milk chocolate bar, so, but this is why. Mm. That's my favorite part. I have another container and I have to take my spoon. This is just a melting container. So I'm just going to take it and get as much as I can into my final bowl, which I'm going to make my bowl shape in. Mm, really yummy. And what I'm gonna do, and what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to, after completely melting it, roll um, a couple layers over and around your bowl after melting it, which I melted it for 45 seconds and it was okay. First I did 25 and then I stirred it. And to speed up the process, maybe take your spoon and wipe it. I only used half of it, half of the milk chocolate bar, so there shouldn't be enough to cover the entire container. Mm, but there's enough to cover my entire mouth. <laughs> Make sure you cut your chocolate up into one piece, one piece, so it's easier to fill up. I'm gonna go put this in for, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in for 40 seconds and see how long that takes. Kids out there that are doing this, make sure you get a parent's permission before doing it. Because you will need to use the microwave or the stove. And both of those, especially the stove, but especially both of them, need parent supervision. Or if you're allowed to use the microwave or stove, make sure you are extra safe. If your parents do allow you to use it, at least wherever you are. Just make sure you're extra safe with it if you're allowed to or not. So I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra, just kinda fix it around, but we might have to use another milk chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. I love that part. can tell by speeding up the process it works a lot better so I don't even have to put it in for any extra time it's already nice melty and ready to be put into the final elastic bowl which I am gonna have to use another whole milk chocolate bar that is why I have my other spoon so I can scoop off of my spoon until the process is repeated and all the chocolate is melted. Now I can take it and it blends a lot faster because it's more chocolate. But then it starts slowing down and you guys might ask why it slows down. It slows down because um, the chocolate is being absorbed and it's wiping. Just for a couple more layers, which I have made my layers, I'm gonna use another milk chocolate bar. Mm. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna use the whole bar. Hi, Thank you. 
I got me another milk chocolate, milk chocolate bar. And I'm opening it to fill in the last microwave to do. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is really hard to get out. Okay, so I think I'm just going to cut this up slowly until I finish. And one more. Oh, so let me go put this in. Bear back. Whee! While that's speeding up and taking maybe a while, um, well, you're, you don't have to use your second one. I just am for an extra thick coating around your shape to make the bowl. And you might have to put it in the freezer for a good couple of hours. And then it's ready to use. And when you're putting ice cream in it, if you're putting ice cream in it, it's good because if you, when you get your ice cream scoop into your spoon, like when you get your ice cream, you can also get some of the bowl. So you can eat the ice cream, what's in it, and you can eat the bowl. That's a little helpful tip for if you're using or if you're making this out there. It's a good helpful tip for eating your bowl when you're eating ice cream. There's a lot of that, and it's hot. <sighs> look how creamy and good that looks. It's just melty and drippy, and look how good that looks. Make sure you use all of it, and make sure there ain't any extra chunks. If there is, you can either try to blend them together, or you can eat them. Which, to be warned, to warn you, I would not eat it right away because it is and um if you use a whole nother candy bar it'll be way easier and I think you should just keep going and keep going until you have a nice smooth bowl and then you sit it down and wait for a while so I'm gonna keep re repeating this process, put it in the freezer, and I'll get be back to you whenever it's finished. Hey, we're back, and we got our frozen, we ain't gonna take it out of here, but we got our frozen milk bowl, solid as a rock. And if you pinch it, I'm just gonna tear a little piece of chocolate out of the um, side. It's better frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and get the ice cream and the scooper out and let's see how it tastes. I could not find the ice cream scooper. <laughs> we need an ice cream scooper. Ew. So it's starting already to melt. So we're gonna have to wrap this up, Mama. Huh? I screwed up my nose. Yeah. So we have our handy ice cream scooper. <laughs> And the rock of Okay. There's my microphone. Oh, see. And I'm an old man. Oh, oh, see. Can you see? How sad can you see? Okay. This is... Uh, 
good, so good, so, so good. I'm gonna take a scoop, a big scoop, and just plop it inside of our chocolate bowl. So it looks like this. And we have our spoon. And I will be the first to ever try this. Unless somebody, like, thought of this idea before I did. And you only want to put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes because I'm saying it freezes fast. So if it is not working and you cannot crack it, then just kind of squeeze your container a little bit. And then it'll crunch up. So you can eat your bowl and your ice cream. <laughs> mm. Mm. This lazy ice cream bowl um, hack was a very good idea. A very tasty idea. And I hope whoever you guys are watching did this video. If you like this video, okay, you put it up then. If you don't want it up right now, you put it away. It'll take me a second. So, anyways, um, don't forget if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Try to get this video to 100,000 thumbs up, please. And um, if you want to or have tried this and you liked it, please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Bye.